also you already have a DJ controller, but maybe your controller is missing some features and some of the new stuff that DJ Pro offers and you don't want to spend the money to get a new controller. Well, this is how to get the most out of any controller, even if it has limited features like this one. I'm going to show you how to do buttons, knobs, neural mix, whatever you want to map into your controller is possible and I'm going to give you some ideas. So the first one that I would recommend doing is mapping in a effects button. So this controller doesn't have any way how to have effects in the controller at all. So what I'm going to do is press the middle button, go to settings, mini devices. This is where you're going to find stuff about your controllers and connected devices. Now you're going to find your controller. It's going to say the name of the controller. Here is the new Mark DJ to go to touch. And then up here to the top left is going to be your MIDI maps that you already did. So it says edited, you can name it. So I would recommend doing a couple of different mappings for each controller. Maybe you're going to play EDM with one and then maybe map one in for hip hop that'll be better for scratching and stuff like that. So we're just going to go back to the built in. This is how the controller is set up originally from the factory. So now it may seem difficult. It may seem complicated with all this stuff, all these numbers and letters, but it's actually super easy to map controllers. So the button that I'm going to use are these headphone select buttons. I usually don't use headphones when I use this controller. This is more for like small gatherings and just having fun with friends. So, and DJ Pro has a setting already that will control the headphones for you. So in settings and then sound, there's a pre-Q auto select. So when you move the crossfader, it's gonna select it for you if you have headphones plugged in. So now we'll go back to our MIDI controller. So to find the button or knob that you're going to use, all you have to do is press the button. So I'm going to press this button. And, and you can see it changes up there with the target and action. So target is pretty much where it is. So this is for the mixer because it's controlling the monitor. But we're going to want to change that to deck 2. So now we have deck 2 action and then scroll all the way down so almost all the way down fx1 enabled fx1 enabled do that now we'll do the other one real quick right down there fx1 enabled so i have a reverb set up so i'm just going to play the track So there we go. We have our effects mapped on both sides. So now we didn't really lose anything because like I said, it has auto select for the headphones. And now we have effects one. It's really helps me and I really like having an effects button. So I really like to map it this way. So that is one. And now a lot of people, a lot of people say the downside of this controller is there's no, no, no bass knob, no high pass, low pass filter. And if you're doing mixing, mixing two songs together, having just one bass knob or an or a filter really helps. And that's why a lot of people like this Hercules controller because they were able to fit a bass knob in this controller and it's about the same size. But if you want to have a filter on this controller, you can. And I'll show you how we're going to have to map two things in uh, it in order to do this. So I'm gonna to wanna to use these knobs. These knobs here control the volume, which is kind of weird. Most people are used to having volume sliders like this, how it is on almost any other controller. Sliders, it's a lot easier to mix. You could do one up, one down really easily. So in order to do that with this controller, we're gonna to have to change the volume change the volume setting and then we're going to put filters in here so for the volume what we're going to do 
is we're going to make sliders. So these are going to be our volume sliders, not the BPM. Uh, not the BPM usually aren't going to be doing beat matching and stuff like that with this controller. We'll still have the sync button to match the BPMs. So we're just going to press the slider, move it, move it a little bit. So deck one tempo is what it's selected. We're going to change that to volume. So in deck one, we're going to have to switch it from deck one to mixer. And then now we're going to select deck one line volume. Do the same thing on the other side. It says deck two. We want it to say mixer and then deck two line volume. And I'm just going to keep going. So then we're going to press these volume sliders. So now this is in the mixer, but we're going to want to go back to deck one. And we'll do filter. And then this one. We're going to change it to deck two. And you can do low EQ if you want just to have a bass knob. Or I think a filter is a, makes it a little more versatile if we only get one. So we're going to do that. We're going to press save. And now we don't have the... We don't have BPM sliders anymore, but if this BPM, let's say, is 170 and we want to match it, we could just press the sync button once and it'll match it. And then sync isn't going to be on unless we press it again. So you can just match it, turn sync off, and there you go. And now we have our volume sliders like this. For some reason, it's inverted. Let's see if we could fix that. So we'll just invert it. Do the same thing on the other one. Invert it. So to do that, you're going to go to Advanced Con Control configura Configuration, and then we could invert it. So now it's a regular volume size. So all the way down is no volume, so we could fade in our song. And we have effects. So three. So so we just got two more features, and we have an easier to use volume slider just like that. And now, what if you want to map Neural Mix into this controller? So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the mapping. Go here. For this, I'm going to use the pad four. So we'll still have three pads to do our cue points and stuff, but we're going to use the pad four for narrow mix. So deck two, there's a whole section for narrow mix. Nero mix acapella. Nero mix acapella. And now open up narrow mix here. So now, just like that, we're playing the song. So now we have Neuromix acapella like that. Let's take it a step further by doing by doing the three button, and then we're gonna choose Neuromix instrumental. Do the other one. Instrumental. Save. So now I'm going to show you all the features that we added to this controller. Acapella only. And now instrumentals only. This is really good to make sure you don't have two lyrics of a song playing at the same time. So by having this button where you can instantly get rid of the lyrics. 
is really helpful. It's an instant acapella, in, instant instrumentals like that. We have our volume sliders, like sliders like you're used to. I like it much better like this. Filter. And we have one effect. So we just got a whole bunch of new features for this small controller. And if you want to see my video about why I think that every DJ that DJs with the iPad should get this controller, check out this video over here. Thank you.